I think the first time I can remember, he was four, and he was playing 10 U basketball. 10 U basketball. Like, you couldn't press, so you had to play behind uh, half, court. half court. So he waited for the kid to come across half court and stole it three times in a row and made a layup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was four. <laughs> the kid was nine or 10. Yeah, and the coach started screaming. He's like, who's got the four-year-old? Who's got the four-year-old? It was pretty funny. He's a big point guard, can handle the ball. He shoots the ball well. He's a great defender. And I think beyond anything, when he takes the floor, he's usually the most competitive kid on the floor. I'm an all-around player who can do what's asked, whether it be knock down open shots, or whether it be the point guard and you know facilitate. And if I got an open man in the corner, you know, 10 times out of 10, I'm gonna kick it to him because I got 100% faith that he's gonna knock down a shot. If you've seen him on the basketball court, it's about the same as <laughs> ability level on the football field. When it is football season, that is his first love. He could play Division I football if he wanted to. On the football field, I'm an athlete, man. Come out and play quarterback, because that's what I've played my whole life. It just brings a whole another side out of me. Can you tell me some of the awards and accolades he's won for both football and then for basketball? <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's hard to sit back and predict and, and kind of put that added pressure on someone. I don't think Jalen minds that I do it, but I would assume that at one point he's going to be an NBA draft pick. And from there, who knows? I, I, the sky's the limit. We got everybody in the car except for Nori this morning. You know, I go drop all the little kids off at the middle school, which is just right down the road from the high school. And then, uh, yeah, so then it's how we all start our mornings. You know, we just bump a little music, uh, get a little breakfast going at the house, and then uh, head off to start our days. Well, yes, he is no longer going to play college football. He's going to attend Gonzaga, and they do not have a football team, which is probably a good thing. His Mark Few may have found him he on a football have, field football throwing. Field. Yeah, yeah. It would have been like a package or something <laughs> like that, yeah. Gonzaga to me is a family. With Coach Few, uh, who I'm extremely close with, that, that's one of the biggest keys. You know, I want to come in and win, and we're going to do a lot of that next year. Do you go with what you love, you know, or do you go with what's going to keep you stable? And I watched Deion Sanders, a uh, double play documentary, you know, and he kind of compared it to, you know, does he go with the girl, you know, who, who entices him, or does he go with the one, you know, that he's going to marry? Football I will always be there, I always love it, but I had to go with basketball for my future. You know, if basketball or football didn't work out for him academically, Jalen does outstanding work in the classroom. He'd be successful somewhere else in life for sure. Obviously, I want to be known as one of the best basketball players. You know that that's played at the highest level. Basketball is something that you know I can do whenever I'm stressed. I got a lot on my mind, so you know I never want to lose that love or passion for the sport.